Welcome back. In the previous session, I discussed clearly how exactly do we export the text file content into the tabla and I explained you the clear process. I hope you understood it and now it is time for us to link our export our excel sheet with the tabla and I have created a small set of data here which you can see the name, the age, roll number, designation, salary, average, highest score. So all these are presented and I have got the combination of the text as well as the numeric content here. Now we are going to export this to the tabla and we will see how exactly we are able to use this data to visualize the inference out of it. We are going to visualize the inference through the graphs, through the charts and I am going to show you how exactly we can use it. Let's first launch the tabla. I am going to relaunch it right now since I have just used it. So I will relaunch it. Let's go ahead with launching it. It's launched. It takes a very little amount of time for it to be launched and you can see that here to a file Microsoft Excel is the file that I'm opening the name of the file is data so I click that the moment I click it I could get the content out here very clearly the entire data is read here now if you have to visualize we need to go to the sheet section here we can we can come here that's what I am pointing right now now we need to understand few things here before we go ahead and display the content as chart this is the data section where you can see that this is the only source of the data. The name of the file that I used is data. If it is X, it will be X here. If it is Y, it will be Y here. This is the section where we get the string content. I mean the textual content will all be displayed here and the numeric content will all be displayed here. In the Excel sheet, I have got age, average, highest and salary as numeric content and you can see that age, average, highest and salary. All these are numeric contents. Name roll number and designation if you see that here very clearly name roll number and designation they are classified as the string content so they are grouped accordingly and you are getting that under this section this is called as this this you need to note down uh, seriously that without that you may not be able to access the excel sheet it automatically segregates the data as the dimension section and the measure section the dimension section is the one where we get the string the columns with the string data will be placed under the dimension and the columns with the numeric data or the metric value metric values will be placed under the measure section and this is where our data will be visualized this is where you are going to see the data clearly and now what are we going to do is we are going to fill what is our row what are what is what is what are all the contents that needs to go into the columns and what are the contents that you need that we need in the rows you can see that here i am dragging and dropping and it is exactly real time the moment I add it there you could see that the contents are getting reflected here and I'm going to add some content out here in terms of rows as well so once it is done that's all you could see that we have got the show me section enabled clearly and I can start seeing the data in terms of chart in terms of beautiful charts I could see the content and this is how we can visualize the data with excel sheet through the tabla the input is an excel sheet but now we are visualizing it in such a nice way and this will help us in getting more inference and one more point that i would like to highlight here is this is just one sheet if i have to have more sheets maybe i have one more sheet here and there is one more set of data here i may not be able to see that here with this current setup i need to go with something called as join which i talk about a little later and for now you understand that how do we export the data through an excel sheet from an excel sheet into the tabla and how do we visualize that what are all the sections involved in it that's all we have completed the discussion and if you have any questions please type it in the comment section if you like the channel please give a thumbs up and subscribe thank you